Okay, we'll go ahead and call, call the meeting to order uh, with that. Welcome guest. Um, and I also would ask Nolan to do the invocation. Let us pray. Our Father, we're so grateful for letting us gather here tonight. Thank you for such a wonderful day you've provided for us. And thank you for everything you do for us each and every day. All the prayers, all the prayers you answer for us. Father, we ask you to be with us tonight as we go through agenda. And we may make, hopefully, and maybe we'll make the right decision for our county. Now, probably ask you to bless each one here in their families and forgive us our sin we fall short. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Uh, roll call. Jerry Powell. Here. David Scott. Here. Kenny Green. Here. Nolan Hamilton. Here. Don McCarty. Here. Crystal Hines. <clears throat> Here. Okay, next item approval of minutes of the regular meeting for June 19. Motion second through the minutes for June 18th. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approval of minutes of special meeting for June the 29th. Motion second through uh, special meeting for June 29th. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approval of Treasurer's monthly budget report. As of June the 30th, 2018, our total um, <clears throat> CDs and passbooks total $656,920.65. Uh, <clears throat> and that makes the grand total, <clears throat> including our checking accounts, $1,967,751.39. Any questions on the monthly financial? No. The motion. So moved. Second. Motion is second to approve the monthly budget report. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approval of Treasurer's quarterly budget report. And this is from April the 1st, 2018 to June 30th, 2018. Um, it's the same as the monthly except for the totals received for this month. Any questions on the quarterly? No. Motion to approve. Sorry. <clears throat> Motion to second approve the treasurer's quarterly budget report. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Approval of treasurer's an annual budget report. Okay, this report is as of July the 1st, 2017 to June 30th, 2018. And it's the only difference is uh, it's just the total receipt for this period is for the full year. Thank you. Motion second approve treasurer's annual budget report. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approval of transfers. Okay. The first page that you have, um, it's just a little, a little cleanup um, for the last fiscal year for June the 30th. Um, all of these are the reserve for transfers in the general fund. $1,100 to county judge executive salary. $7,600 to ambulance service attendance, $750 to park attendance salaries, and $300 to utilities. And in the jail fund uh, from the reserve for transfers, $350 to deputy jailer salary. Motion to Second. Motion second, approval of transfers. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Authorization to pay claims and make okay. Well, I had the second transfer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Transfer. Um, and this is for this month, July, as of July 16th. Um, the only transfer that we're, we need this month is from reserve for transfers in the LGEA to $1,000 to dead and remo removal and also cash transfers both from the general fund, uh, $10,000 to the jail fund, and $30,000 to the LGEA fund. Motion to approve. Second. Motion second to approve the transfers. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? I will say that you'll notice probably that our, our jail expenses were down. We didn't get Carroll County's, so we will be double next time. We'll make up for it. Yes. Do we uh, 
Did we get rid of some prisoners also? Hopefully we got rid of one anyway. Baldwin took a plea. So he's going to stay. That the one had in there for four or five years? Mm -hmm. I think paper said four and a half years, but I thought it was five and a half years. But anyway, whatever it is, it's gone. I don't know. It's been a while. Yes. <laughs> Too long. That's a huge experience. Maybe I'd lower it down a little bit. Maybe I'd lower it down a little bit. Maybe somebody take its place. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what else you got? The, uh, claims. Uh, authorization to pay claims and late claims. Okay. Uh, in the general fund, <clears throat> the July pre approved court claims are $3,020.15. Uh, the July pre-approved second batch is $4,230.32 and the July court claims total $24,160.03. That makes the total general fund claims of $31,410.50. Questions on the general fund claims? Motion to approve. Second. Okay, motion and second approve claims and lay claims for uh, general fund, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, the road fund, um, <clears throat> the July pre approved claims total $608.97. The July pre approved second batch uh, total $1,054.37. And the July court claims total $33,119.56. That makes a, a grand total for the road fund claims uh, $34,000. Seven hundred and eighty-two dollars and ninety cents. Any question on the road? So moved. Second. Motion second to approve the claims and late claims for the road to, uh, road fund. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. The jail fund. Uh, the July pre-approved. There, there were none of those. And then the July court claims total six thousand one hundred and eighty dollars and sixty-one cents. And that makes a total jail fund claims $6,180.61. Any questions on the jail? So, mm -hmm. no, if they stay like this every month, it'd be great. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take it. Motion and second approve <coughs> claims and late claims for the jail fund. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? The <coughs> LGEA fund. The July pre-approved claims are $375.39. The July pre-approved second batch uh, totals $15,975.85. And the July court claims total $19,366.47. That makes a grand total of the LGEA claims $35,717.71. Any questions on the LGEA? Motion to approve. Second. Motion second approve claims and late claims for LGTA fund. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. I'm not for standing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're good, Derek. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next item. Good night. You too. Thank you. Uh, Solid waste report, Bruce. I don't have anything on the landfill unless you all have anything that has done the thing. Uh, the only thing I wanted to bring up was uh, we discussed the last meeting about the concrete for the generator. I mean, you talked about it. And uh, they've never, Alpha's never got back with me on the date they're going to get the springs. Okay. So as soon as they get back with me, I'll get with Eddie and we can get this coordinated where we can get the concrete poured. And they want to be here three or four hours early before we do it so they can stub it all up. And have like a ditch digger in the So as soon as we find out something, I'll let you all know. Let like you know what we mean. He's talking about the EMS building. Moving that generator. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I'd like to go out there and look at that beforehand if you got a chance sometime. Yeah. Show me whether. Okay. Kind of get an idea. How much stuff I can mow uh, Okay. Next item was the animal shelter report. Y'all have got that in front of you and have reviewed it, so. Uh, 
Andrew, I don't see him. I think he's on his way. He's been in the meetings all day, and I think he's on his way back, but won't make it, so. His vehicle's at the house when I seen that. Uh, well, he's got two vehicles. Oh. So, depends on which vehicle you saw. He might have took the helicopter. Oh, helicopter. Yeah, he probably <laughs> took our helicopter. <laughs> County helicopter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know he went with FEMA to look at the roads, and I think Eddie went too, so hopefully we'll get something back from FEMA have before you heard, too long. Have you heard anything on that yet? Mm -hmm. uh, next item is uh, approval of uh, where is it? Jack Whip subdivision. I'll pass you all this around. He's already had. Uh, Eddie signed off on it, and the health department signed off on it, and the water district signed off on it. So, I mean, like five, I think. What is it, Don? Four, or five. Five, I see. Okay. Okay. Don Cruz Lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's on, it's on the left of Cruz Lane. I was going to be the right. The one old PBA, I thought they could print big plaids so everybody could have a copy, but they can't, so that's why we had to pass it around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like everything's in order. You don't have no pictures. Good place to build a house in. <coughs> nice garage. You might want to buy, you like that, you might want to buy one of them lots. Yeah, our house sister over here. Oh man. Won't be a lot of travel there towards the garage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just trying to help. Second. Okay, motion is second to approve the subdivision for Jack Webster off Cruise Lane. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Next item, uh, approval of Sheriff's Quietus Tax Settlement for 2017. You've had that and we all got to sign it. So if he messes up, he's going to take us down with him. That's right. What's this $400 for birthday party? <laughs> You're not going alone, is he? No. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You got one. You take it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send the original. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Need a motion and second. So move. Okay. Got a motion and second. The approval of uh, Sheriff's Quaid is tax settlement 2017. All those in favor? Aye. Right. Uh, Opposed? She can go with us. Well, we'll go down the tube. She'll go too. I'll look down that way. We got county attorney. We got county attorney. 
did the motion and yes, approved yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Next item, approval $11,000 sole conservation district. That was in the budget for that amount. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second approve the $11,000 sole conservation district. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, they just what gave us. They just gave seventy five hundred to us for give back dead animal yeah. removal. So, uh, well, let's trade monies. Uh, next item approval: Pam Watson to the library board from August twenty seventh, eighteen to August twenty second of two thousand twenty two. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second to approve Pam Watson the library board uh, for four years. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Next item, approval of Keith Wagner to the library board uh, August of 27-18 to August 27-2022. He's already on. He was yeah. filling an unexpired term and now this is a full term. Right. Okay. So move. Second. second. Motion and second to approve Keith Wagner to the library board uh, four years. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Uh, next item, open bid for new ambulance. Okay, total total purchase price one hundred ninety eight thousand seven hundred and forty six dollars. And I think you Nolan had asked me about two fifty. Two fifty, but Henry County's running three fifty. And I, my understanding, they're having problems with the front ends on those not being heavy enough. So. How much price difference is it? 250 and 350. Well, that I don't know. Can, is, I hope somebody, me and Master B here, can, can we not run a. He is. So, sorry, Interstate's not cooperative today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tom Driggers. I'm the one that submitted the bid. Okay. Um, Henry County uses the F350. Their body is the same brand as ours. Their body's a little smaller. No one builds on it that's smaller than 350. What you guys have, your body size requires a little heavier GVW rated truck. So 450s and 550s are more common. You guys are borderline with the 450, but you do have enough GVW rating and so forth for your, your equipment, staffing, and so forth. But you can't exceed your GVW rating or you, it affects your licensing. So you really need a 450 minimum. Henry County is borderline with a 350. It is harder on the front end though. We've done some design features on Henry County's new truck to kind of get some more weight off of that front end. And according to our engineers, it should work, but 
they our engineers would have preferred they bought a 450. The difference is about eight, eight, eight to nine hundred dollars in chassis costs. So it's really minimal. Uh, my question was, it, do they not make a smaller ambulance, something similar to the, the 250 Transit, like the jail the transfer? Vans. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the, our company does, we got out of the van business years ago. There are companies that build vans, but they're very, very, they're, they're obviously cheaper to operate because they don't hold as much equipment and personnel. Right. But uh, they're throwaways. Once you put 125,000 miles, you can throw them away. And you can't get much equipment on it. Have you been EMT? No, I haven't. That's why I've asked. That's I spent, why I, that's I spent why I 40 saying, you know, years in the fire department. I've been there. I've been, <laughs> in, I've been one, and you, yeah. you have no room to work on a patient no. whatsoever. No. Well, I knew we were doing some uh, transports for the dialysis patients, and, and you know, for something like right. that, right. we could get by with a smaller. Exactly. Yeah, if you're doing transport work in there, that's where they're most commonly used. If you're just taking a patient from point A to point B, and there's no definitive care issues that have to take, be taken care of, then that, that probably would suffice. But when you're trying to do emergency medical treatment while you're working on, working on a patient, while you're trying to get to a, a medical facility, you can't move in a van. You're there, you're strapped down, you're done. And there's no equipment. So if you carry- We rent we we vans and you stay in no room in it. No. And I guess my next question is, I know the one that we got that's in question now is there's some issues with the frame. Um, but what year was that? Do you remember what year the it's band 2002 or three. And the frame rusted. <clears throat> it's rusted, yeah. So is there such a thing as undercoating these that keep them rusting? We do. I think the one that's in question, might, there might have been some other issues with that truck. Um, it was involved in a fire. And I believe you probably have some residual effect of the heat that's caused that frame to deteriorate. That's not common. That's, you know, but I, I mean, that was the choice that was made at the time was to refurb the truck and to continue to use it. Burn the undercoat off and cause it to rust? Yeah. Heat will affect metals a lot of different ways, as it's you know. And I'm, I have a suspicion that, that may be the case because we, I've not heard of the frames being that affected with that age of a vehicle. Well, but I, but because it's going to affect everything. The other one we got is okay frame-wise. So. Yes. The uh, the box that's on that truck, is it something that can't be refurbished and, and refitted with a new truck and chassis? Uh, it can be. Uh, sometimes the refurbing cost, and, and this is the part that I, I hate to say, but the refurbing cost sometimes isn't as good a deal as just going to replacing it and buying a new one. We did that in Anchorage. Anchorage had one of our brands. They bought it used from Northern, uh, Department of Northern Kentucky. They used it for three or four years and they decided, let's refurb it. They spent $155,000 refurbing it. They could have bought a new one for one seventy-five. dollars When you're getting into the, and they did some cabinet changing and things like that, and changing the paint scheme, <laughs> you know, it, yeah. it's like going down the cafeteria line of school. The more things you grab, the more it's going to cost you when you get to the cashier. So if you, if all you want to do is pick up a box, put it on a new truck, and there wasn't much cosmetic stuff to be done, there wasn't any electronics to in, to be improved. It's relatively inexpensive in the overall picture, but with the change in the, in the technology and the engineering and things that go on on a five to ten year basis you start trying to upgrade it it's one more thing on the tray and by then you get to the end of the like when you get to the cashier it's all done by piece so they I thought it would have been better served by a new one but based on what they had allocated at the time that they decided to do that well since then they, then they merged with Middletown and we sold them four more so <laughs> Now they use it as a spare. So it's, it just depends on where you are, what your needs are, and, and how this thing can be addressed. And this box has already been part of a fire, so when the bar has been. Yeah. So. I doubt if it would be what you'd want to do. I don't know that you're going to get out of it the value you would want by doing that. And also with that Type 3, you can't pick that box up and put it on a pickup style chassis 
the cab axle dimensions are different. It doesn't mount up right. So then you have to fabricate it. Uh, like I said, by the time you get done with all that, you could have bought a new one. So you're saying they don't make 250s? No, not in the ambulance industry, no. The, the, the standard uh, national ambulance specification requires so much GVW rating for payload. That truck isn't large enough to give you the minimum requirements of payload capacity. So that's why nobody built it. The only thing I'm saying is the larger you get, the stiffer the springs and everything's going to be. And, oh, it's yeah. gonna, and it's going to be rougher riding on the patients riding in the ambulance. On the rear end, we automatically, we, we replaced the rear suspension system with a hydraulic system on all of them. 350 through 550. And even the medium duties. We put the liquid spring hydraulic system on it and it's and it's geared to give a softer ride. Now if you, and the one you have, the last one you bought from us in 16, it's got that liquid spring system on it. So it, it takes that stiffness out of it. It does give a, a better ride, but granted, you still got a truck. You know, I remember I was around in the days we transferred from Cadillacs to trucks. You know, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm dating myself, but that was a heck of a transition in regards to patient ride. But now with this liquid spring system, it's much better than it used to be. A lot of it has been on that driver. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, the driver's got to know what's going on in the back. And it might say your, your bid proposal, what's the turnaround on this? Uh, how long would it take to get the ambulance? About 200 did? days from the date of order. So now, now Henry County just bought theirs about a month ago, and I just got a production report on it today, and theirs are going to be done a little before Christmas. So you're looking at first of the year. After the first year, and, and what? How long is the uh, price good on this? Uh, I'll, I've held it for 30 days based on that. But if you need it to be held longer, I'm willing to do that. I think it's something we should take on this guy's. It's a big purchase. Mm -hmm. Well, at least I got here right at the right time. Didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the time was there. There, the yeah. other one's not going to be certified after this year. So, we'll that to put us down to two to an operation. Now, the only thing that I was thinking is, with us doing these dialysis transfers, we might have got got by with something smaller without going into. Are we doing anything? Not good. Are we doing any more? Yes, we are. We are. I understand that we are. Yeah. yeah. So we could discuss it. Kind of and I know our EMS is, is limited to what they can do to a patient also. Right. So, so they're basically transporting to keep them so going to transport. We might be able to get back the van. Get, uh, transport Dallas patients. Uh, when you said next year, what time is your, when is this next year start? Probably May or June. May, I'm not sure what year. 2019. Yeah. Well, I'll make a motion we table for right now and discuss this. So we're going to and, and get, a, get something from the ambulance service to see where we're at with all that other, as far as the dialysis runs, what we've what we done, purchase. what they received back, and stuff like that. Okay. But hold. Okay. Second. Motion second put a hold on the bid for new ambulance. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, next item open bids for road department trucks and tractor and mower. So
have been interest. In the Some of them are on one item, though, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I don't open up, open them up. There might be. Beneath, it's not marked which vehicle to start with, and then I'm put it with the others. Okay, well, this one be it on everything. Okay, bids on the 1995, this is the one that runs, there's, let me see, yeah, no, the 97 is one of those parts only, okay, um, for the 95 dump truck, uh, bin number, the last number's Three eight three seven five. Uh, first bid is get something right on here. Thirty five twelve. Thirty five thousand. Three thousand five hundred. I wish. Thirty five twelve. <laughs> uh, you might not know by the The. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, next bid is thirty-two fifty. Uh, next bid is thirty-five, three thousand five hundred and ten dollars. Wow, two bucks. $2. And the next one is five hundred dollars. Those were all on the ninety-five. All on the ninety-five. So the high bid is 
Three of them are you want to do some back, won't you? Mm -hmm. Well, this one's got the 95 on two. It's 3250. Where did I put that one? Yeah, you got you, you read it off. off. Yeah. We got one 3250 already. There's another yeah, 3250. Really? Yeah. That's out of the envelope said 97, but. Thirty-five, twelve, and it's here. Thirty-five, ten. Oh, it's one. There's two of them here. You take for thirty-five. Is that down at ninety-five, thirty-five, twelve? That's where he wrote that. One's thirty-five, twelve, mm -hmm. one's thirty-five, ten. There's nobody's name there. This is not a bit. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Here it is. Here's a 35 team. Okay. Then's a 97, right? Next one will be. It's a 97, it's or one of them is parts on it. Is that it? There's two 97s. Okay. Oh, there is. Okay. One's parts on and one was one that was running, so. Okay, which one we got? No uh, one. This is one, we just got to do it for the 97 on it also. Let's see, mm -hmm. it's right there, it's in the back. And, and more too, eh? Yeah, okay. You want to add the fifth one on there, and then that's, oh, that's what they're doing. I'm not Okay, they're on the 97 Ford dump that runs. Uh, there's only one bid, $500. Does you have another bid for in that pile? 
there was somebody who bid for both the 95 and 97. Right. Okay, ninety-seven, fifteen hundred dollars. There we go. Maybe a thousand bucks. There might be another one in there too. I thought that broke. Fifty thousand? Oh yeah. I think so. And the parts only. Well, we're not doing parts only yet. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're on the 95 Ford dump, just the dump truck it runs. Um, 97. 97, 16 to go. 97. So what we're doing? Oh, it's parts on yeah. the yeah. yeah, okay. Um, for the 97 Ford dump truck that runs, there's a bid for $1,500. Um, There's a bid for no, it's on parts only. And five hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred and five hundred, right? Okay, and the next bid is on the ninety. Seven four dump parts only. Right. Uh, you have four hundred dollars. It's only for Five hundred dollars. So sixteen twenty five is a high bid on the park. <coughs> Right. 
And the next item, we only got one bid is on the tractor and mower. So the high bid on the 95 dump truck it runs is $3,512. Uh, bid amount on the 97 Ford dump truck it runs, high bid was $1,500. And the bid amount on the 97 Ford dump truck parts only was $1,625. Yes. And the only bid on the New Holland tractor with the Tiger mower was $4,300. Mm -hmm. Probably parted out for more than that. The total is $15,937. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah. 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 How much? That's a good ticket for one. Hmm? Too really. <laughs> I'd like to see us uh, reject a bit on the tractor. That seems awful low for it. I don't know. That tractor was wore out. How many hours you got on? Huh? How many hours you got? On? I don't know, but they're not gonna think for an oil foot faster than they can use it. it right it. I mean I watched these guys rebuild some of these tractors up here and they're not getting their money back out of them when they sell. And those are rebuilds. The same. Are you running to John Deere? Not yet. What kind of job are you doing? Terry Town rebuilt a whole tractor sitting up there by Eddie's house. Huh? They wanted fifty some hundred dollars for it, but wound up losing about fifteen hundred on it because he couldn't get it. What? Four little forward like an eight in when it was something. Oh, is it over Eddie's house? Yes, yes. At 80 in? Yeah, yeah, whatever it was. Yeah, 80 in. It was an 80 in. Yeah, and he, he didn't get nowhere near what he thought he was going to get out of. So he get 15? I don't know how he get any better than that, but uh, he didn't get enough 54 or 50. Well, no, no, he didn't. <coughs> and had to deliver it to Tennessee, so. Just saying. Go all the way with the truck. Go all of it. Has anybody ever really seen what the tractor would cost to repair? I mean, we I talked about so. it a couple of times. They were using it the other day. I don't know hmm? how bad it is. They was using it the other day. It's going to be several thousand. The cab's got to come back off and get into that transmission again. We've done that once already. Did. You think he, he didn't put a gasket in right, or what, what do you think is causing the leak? Carpenter over at Pleasant Hill told me he said those tractors are notorious for transmission problems. Shifted fork bends in the Ford reverse and then it tears the gears up. When you run it, it's grinding in there now, binding back up like it started doing before. So it's going to have to be, going to have to be got into it. Like yeah. Gotta hold on to the tractor then. I'll make a motion on the trucks that we uh, go ahead and accept the bid on all three trucks. I second that too. Get them out of the way. Kind of got a motion second except the bids on the three trucks, the 95, the 97, and the 97 with parts only. All those in favor? One out. Opposed? Excuse me. 
Do you want to name these bids as we right. set these bids? The, the names? Not the names, the prices. We did, I thought. I did, I thought, but I'll do it again. Well, I know you did, but I mean, as we made the motion, okay. we didn't. Okay. We didn't uh, we on the process, motion, we made the motion. To accept it would be yeah. the 95 Ford dump truck that runs is $3,512. Uh, for the 97 Ford dump truck is $1,500. For the 97 Ford dump for parts only is $1,625. Yeah, I've made a motion to accept the high bids on the three trucks. I'll second it. Motion second to accept the high bids on each truck. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay. Opposed? Okay. Eddie, when they took that tractor apart, how many, how many man hours did they have in it and what, what did the parts cost? Just a rough estimate. I, know, I don't know you don't have an exact figure. But Lots of man hours. I mean, hours. can it be repaired for two thousand dollars, four thousand oh, dollars? Huh? Not even a guess. Huh? Uh, -uh no. you won't guess. <laughs> no, I, I did. Parts were high and they were used, and we just got lucky that he had some over Pleasant Hill that fitted the last time. Look how shapes the mower in pretty good shape. Mower. The mower? Yeah. No. No, it's been welded to pieces. The arm's been welded up on it. That's it's what's dangerous. Off, been welded. That's, what's, that's what's so dangerous out there is that the arm mower been welded. And it, it smokes, misses, like injector problem. It's, you know, it's, not, it's not good. The prox got ours on it, do you know? I'm not sure, Ken. I'm not sure on how or why. You want to try to rebid it, or you want to try to fix it, or what do you think you want to do with it? You want to do it? I'd like to see us rebid it, but it, that's up to you guys, whatever you, whatever you want to do. What year is that tractor? Uh, 05. It's a fairly new tractor. Really? Uh, yeah, might be most we sell it. You might, you might. Mm -hmm. Might be a good time to get rid of something. Well, yeah. we could tie a lot that's of money a, That's up. good money, yeah. something that wore out. We could tie a lot of money up in it, and within two or three months, it could be the same thing over again. I don't know. The chance we're taking. How long did it last from the last time that grip went through? It was last, early last year when Donnie, before he left. Well, it's already back down like it. I'll say get rid of it. How you made a motion? Is a new John Deere running? Hmm. It's a new John Deere running? Mm -hmm. it is. I think they were waiting on the cab, weren't you? Waiting on that. I'm not the cab, the hood. He's waiting on the hood. We're waiting. Getting ready to paint it the other day, last Friday. I had a motion to sell it. Is there a second or? Some of my stuff just eat you. Yeah, I'd hate to see us spend 4000 on it and then just get 8000 off. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's, it's, it's been a year, year. Yeah. just a year since we went through it. I'll second it. Okay, motion is second to sell the mower to high bid and only bid of $4,300. All those in favor? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Got that done. Uh, no executive session. Uh, anybody from the audience got anything? I do. Okay. How, did anybody see anything about getting a bid on a van? For this, uh, has he, how, could we get a bid on a van? Or you all make, you don't make vans? 
we our company personally doesn't make vans, but one of our one of our sister companies is in the van business. We've sold them to other <coughs> other EMS organizations that basically. I'm just curious how much difference between a van and a box truck and you know, a box sandwich. Cost wise, right now on the van, like an E250 diesel would probably run about a hundred grand. So about hey. Thank you. That's something we can talk about. But most of the runs are made on emergency runs. So. And back to Santa better emergency runs. Okay. Uh, next regular meeting will be August the 20th at 9 a.m. here in this building. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Make a motion, second. Adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye.